Today I'm gonna to be trying brand new items at Costco to let you know what's delicious and what I'd buy again. My name is Erin. If you're new here, subscribe. I do lots of taste testing videos. Tis the season when every grocery store, every restaurant are rolling out their holiday menu items. And Costco has some of the best of the best things that are brand new that today I just decided I have got to taste test some of these things and see if some of these items are worth buying for like a Thanksgiving spread or a holiday party. Some of you might recognize that I am not in my normal house. I am in the desert house, which if you've been following, I bought a house about two and a half years ago, started renovating it, and now I am here doing the final, final touches. So it's such an exciting time. And this video is sponsored by Cricut, who are helping me do that. So if you would be so kind before we jump in, I'd love to tell you a little more about Cricut for just a second. Starting our own little Airbnb, we've really added a lot of amazing features to this house that strangers, when they come to stay here, are not gonna know how to use. So using labels is so major key, but you guys know labels are usually pretty ugly, like little label makers. And I just didn't wanna muddy up the aesthetic. So I'm doing this very monochromatic vibe with a lot of my labels because I want it to be sleek, I want it to be understated, but I want people to know where things go and what goes to what. One of my favorite things that I did is label my light switches. And you might be saying to me, Erin, I don't see a label there. And that's the point. I decided I would make white vinyl, I use their smart vinyl, and made vinyl letters letters that are white so it matches the light switch. You can actually see the names of which light goes to which switch, but when you stand far away, it doesn't visually cloud the aesthetic, which I just did not want. We've spent so much money and so much work on this house. I'm like, I don't want labels everywhere. So I mean, you guys can barely see it, but when you're in person, it really does make a big difference. I also used the same monochromatic approach for even just labeling our remotes because we have the same TV in each room and all the remotes kind of look the same and I didn't want them to get mixed up. So it'll be easy for my cleaners to put remotes back where they're supposed to be. So I have a Cricut Joy, which is like their little compact version, which is honestly all you need if you're doing labels. It's very portable. It's very affordable. It's a great gift idea for anybody who's starting a life stage, like planning a wedding or having a new baby or starting an Airbnb. But I also have their Explore Air 2, which is a little bit bigger. You can cut more like varieties of things. I also use these to make holiday customized table settings as well. It's so, so fun. They have tons of fonts you can choose from. You can always upload your own if you are a person who uses Photoshop a lot. They have a huge library in their Cricut design space. If you wanna get creative and use symbols, you totally can. So we had a big rodent problem at our house out here in the desert. Thankfully it was only outside and it no longer exists. But I don't want guests to leave our sliding door open because rodents can get in the house. So I searched for rat <laughs> in the images and I was like, they're not gonna have a cute little little rat logo and they did. So I was like, wow, they really have thought of everything. And now I get to really make the point very clear. Don't leave this open unless you want a rat to come in, unless you like ratatouille and some of us do, you know. Another cool thing that I did, which I wasn't even sure would even work, is our outdoor spa area, which we have spent so much time perfecting. One of the pavers has a step down that when you're walking up the step, you see it and you don't trip. It's pretty obvious. But when you're coming down, it completely disappears. I have tripped so many times. So I was like, what if I use my Cricut to put a watcher step label on it so people don't fall and get hurt, which is a huge thing. In Airbnbs, you wanna make sure your house is extremely safe. So I used my larger Cricut, the Cricut Explorer 2. I made very large, smart, final watcher step signs and I transferred it right onto the concrete and it has held up really well. And while it is a little bit big, I might've gone a little overboard. I could make it a little bit smaller. At least I know now people are not gonna trip and my Airbnb insurance is gonna be very happy with me. I am using this Cricut for everything. I'm like going a little bit overboard, whether it's for my owner's closet where we might store stuff that we don't want guests to get into or signage of how to use our pool equipment, shampoo bottles. I'm even using it for our detergent because I don't wanna leave a huge Costco size giant detergent bottle sitting out for guests. I just wanna have like a little bit for them, but I want them to know what detergent we're using because some people are sensitive or some people just are curious. I've even made custom labels for gadgets and gizmos in the house that I want people to be able to use but I don't want them to take home with them because you guys know sometimes things get taken accidentally or not but hopefully with signs like property of the juniper house people will not slip some of these items in their bags 
<laughs> accidentally when they leave. I cannot say enough good things about Cricut. I'm not a DIY person. I'm not like gifted in that area. So if that's not you, I just want you to know that having a Cricut really does open your mind and your creativity to do things that you never thought you would do. And it's fun. This is a great gift for anyone who you don't know what to buy for, who has everything. You might want like a fun hobby or a project or something to really make their life and their life stage easier. So I will link them down below if you want to check them out to see what bundles they have available. They're always running some sort of amazing deal. And also check this design out in my design space profile linked in the description. All right, let's get back to snacking because I need sustenance before I continue my label making. So let's start with Costco's ready to make pizzas. All you have to do is pop them in the oven for like 20 minutes and they come out looking gorgeous and glamorous. And y'all know I'm a pizza girly. I worked with DiGiorno for a very long time. My threshold for delicious, easy, affordable pizza is pretty high and they're pretty large. It's comparable to what you would pay for a nice pizza at like a local restaurant. So let's see if it is good. It's so cheesy. That cheese is thick. It is fresh. It feels like a homemade pizza. I think I'm kind of into this. Is it strange that I feel like this would be an amazing breakfast? <laughs> I support this. Next up is this other pizza option. It's got more of a meat lovers, veggie kind of pizza. Cheers. I do think it's good. It doesn't taste as signature as the other one. And honestly, I think I prefer DiGiorno. All right, I gotta wash this down with some soda because you can't have pizza without soda. I'm sorry. I'm a ginger ale girl. Let me know in the comments what's your go-to soda. I did see that Canada Dry has new flavors at Costco. This one is a ginger ale cranberry and this one is a ginger ale blackberry. Blackberries are my least favorite berry. It smells like um, grape Kool-Aid. Let's try it. Oh my gosh. Wow, I just got punched in the throat. But I weirdly like it. It does have like a grape soda vibe. I'm sorry to the blackberries for what I said about them. Okay, let's talk about the ginger ale cranberry. Cheers. Mm, I don't even, I've forgotten what that tastes like already. It really is mostly a ginger ale flavor. It has just a very, like a 10% plus of cranberry in there. It's probably more like red 70 or whatever. <laughs> I'm a blackberry girl. I just converted everyone. Next up are these tomato basil pizza crisps. They kind of look like Doritos. 13 grams of protein. Wow, those smell incredible. They're a lot smaller than I thought they would be. Wow, that was a bomb of deliciousness that exploded on my tongue. Let's try it again and again and again and again. Wow. You must buy these. This is a must buy. I feel like I need something to put it in, like a hummus. Let's talk about this cutie patootie. He is a chocolate truffle man. Honestly, I wish all men were chocolate truffle men. The world would be a better place. I feel like my husband's a chocolate truffle man. Oh, his head comes off. These are cute. I've ever even had chocolate truffle. Ooh. <laughs> okay, it has little crispies in it, kind of like crunch bars. It's very smooth, very creamy, very milky, light. Oh, it's melting. Oh my gosh, it's sensitive, just like me. So this is a puff pastry bite sampler. And you get 48 pieces. Okay, let's start with the roasted red pepper and cheddar. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Yes. Okay, let's move into the spinach and parmesan. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is all you need in life. This is all you need. Who, who cares money? We don't need it. Okay, let's talk about the artichoke Monterey Jack and jalapeno. These are so flaky. You know that video where the old lady and the man can't get through the commercial saying buttery flaky crust? That's what comes to mind because these are so butterily. I can't say it either. I think that's my least favorite one. The artichoke tastes a little too earthy to me. Next is the caramelized onion and ricotta. Hmm, good. Better than the last one, but not as good as the first two. Okay, let's talk about this Brandini toffee. This was not that expensive, and I love this packaging. It looks really nice. Look at that. There's a lot of toffee in here. Let's try her. Phenomenal. It's incredible. It's perfect. It doesn't even get stuck in your teeth too bad. It's kind of a nice texture. Now I have a whole bag. I'm not gonna tell Matt. It's gonna be mine your little secret. Let's move into the polenta with roasted vegetables. And something you should know about me is I would like to be buried in polenta. To have it with roasted vegetables seems a little sacrilegious. But for this size container of polenta, I could overlook it. The aromas are very aggressively smoked grilled aromas, which is kind of unique. Right, I'm gonna try the polenta sans vegetables. Hmm, it tastes too healthy. Let's try one with the vegetables. I don't 
don't hate it. I think it's really good. I just love Polenta so much, and I feel like the infusion of smoky health is just not, it's not needed. Let's dive into this maple butter pecan, almost like a tres leches tiramisu multi-layered little dessert thing. One of your favorite videos is me taste testing a bunch of Costco desserts. I'm just eating right off the loaf. What? I have to try another bite. That is snacksual healing. Snacksual healing. It is so buttery, so whipped, so creamy. I literally don't want to put it down. I don't want this to end. Coming in hot is the baked brie. Sometimes the quality of brie really does make or break this. Also, the quality of jam. Guys, I'm so full of pastry right now. I'm going to become a puff pastry. It's like apple. Oh, I love this. The flavor. <sighs> no wonder this is very, very popular during the holiday season because it is exceptional. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a pre-made biscuit and gravy. I am a biscuit and gravy gal. The best biscuit and gravy you can get. Mark my word is Bojangles. For now, I don't have Bojangles, so I'm on the hunt to find a beautiful biscuit and gravy that will scratch that itch. This doesn't look like it's going to do that. It's kind of puffy, like egg souffle like. And I'm not sure about microwave in a biscuit. I am from the South. I'm a little nervous about this one. It's not wrong, but it's not right, okay? I wasn't expecting like 10 out of 10, but I just don't get biscuit and gravy vibes from this. It isn't scratching that itch or checking that box. After much deliberation, here are the top seven things you need to get that are brand new at Costco right now that may not be there for long. First up are the tomato basil pizza crisps. Also pick up a thing of hummus. I think these are perfect for like a cheese charcuterie spread. Next are the ready to bake pizzas, specifically the margarita one. I liked that slightly better the meat. Next is the baked brie. This is a holiday appetizer staple and this with this apple jam is so freaking phenomenal. Next is the homemade toffee. You should definitely buy this for yourself but it's so beautiful you really should gift it especially like to your boss. We cannot forget about the Canada Dry ginger ale blackberry soda. This has changed my life. Next are the puff pastry assortment bites. There are 48 in here and I could probably eat 48 all by myself but they're perfect for a holiday party. And last, it is this maple butter pecan bar cake. Truly remarkable, special, never before tasted. People will be so in love with it. You have to get it the next time you're at Costco. I hope you're all doing so well. Please thumbs up this video and leave me a comment down below. Is there something that I missed that's new at your Costco that I should try? Do you like this video? Should I do more like this? Because I'll take any excuse I can get to go to Costco. Special thanks to Cricket for partnering with me. I truly could not be entering this new life stage of owning my own Airbnb in the high desert without them. I will link them below if you're looking for holiday gift ideas. Me and my ginger ale are off to take a nap. <laughs>